Hi guys, this is Srikant Dasari. So in this video, we are going to learn about uh, the basic data types in C. So let me launch the IDE and uh, create a new project here from find new project and let's name the project as uh, types okay and click okay so let's create a new uh, c file here code cpp types c okay so let us make it as a full screen so today in this video as we are intended we have uh, four basic types uh, in C so let us include a, a main function so there are four basic data types in C which are uh, as follows int So let us create a variable for int. Okay. Float. Care. And double. Okay. So these are the four basic data types in C. So as we observe. Uh, I have written uh, immediately following uh, the int I have written a, a small uh, a word which is called as a variable uh, i where it depends upon the convenience of the user he can name it uh, whatever he wanted okay there are certain rules for uh, variables such that uh, it should start uh, with a letter not with a number so if you do something like crazy like this uh, and if you run the program it's going to complain you with an error okay so a variable name should always uh, start with a letter and and one more thing it should uh, not contain any should not contain any special symbols okay except underscore so again if you do something crazy like uh, this and if you run the program again it's going to complain you only underscore is allowed in the variables to do you keep an underscore here and if you write uh, int i where one something like this okay to run the program it not it not complain Okay, huh? it will not complain. Okay, and so these are the certain rules of uh, defining a variable. So you might get a doubt why we need a variable here. A variable is the one which stores the value of the specified of the specified data type. Okay, so variable is used to uh, so if you want to perform an operation. Like if you want to do something like uh, uh, an operation like a plus b, so here a and b are uh, known as variables, and the result is stored. You can do, you can make an expression like this: int result is equal to a plus b. That means a and b acts as a, acts as variables which store some value temporarily, uh, which might which might vary uh, according to the requirement of the user. So that's the reason uh, they name that identifier. They also call the identifier as a variable. Okay. So these are uh, int, float, cap, and double are the four basic data types in C. Okay. And uh, so if you want to store a value in a type uh, in a variable, you need to use the assignment operator and store a value like this. And if you want to store a value in uh, float as we all know that float contains real values like 1.23 a decimal followed by a 
fraction part okay and the double and the character uh, as a as character is a kind of data type which holds a, a single character of information which might be a letter a digit or a symbol anything okay so internally this character is stored as an integer in c uh, what that integer value is known as a ascii code okay we will discuss uh, in detail about the character in the future lesson about uh, specifically about the data type uh, character and the double data type is same as a uh, float which has a uh, a longer precision um, precision means the number of digits which were allowed after the decimal point uh, double normally has a, a wider precision and which helps us in uh, calculating the accurate values when you are doing a, a floating point calculations okay the default uh, floating point type is double in c okay so we have just uh, stored some values in these uh, variables and in order to print those values uh, to the screen we, we can use the print of statement okay i fair okay so if you observe carefully uh, the print of statement is uh, quite a bit different what we have used in the earlier video in the hello world program so here our intention is to print the value stored in the variable i where so we have to use some uh, we have to use a, a special character called format specifier which is going to be the percentage d for int and this uh, percentage d will reference the value stored in the variable i where okay now if you run the program okay, let's add the get c statement here so if we check the output it has displayed 10 10 which is the value we have stored in the i where very good in the same way you can complete the program by outputting all the values to the standard output screen okay so i have just copied and pasted all this uh, print of statements and let me change the format specifier for uh, int which is percentage d and for float it's f and for character it's c percentage c and for double it's uh, lf now let's run the program if you see there is a small uh, mistake here the reason is i have changed the format specifier but i didn't change the variable name here if you observe float uh, is declared as f where and character as c where and uh, double s d where on the sun the program so if you observe we have uh, got the same output uh, whatever you have uh, stored in our uh, variables int float char and double okay so there is a small difference uh, in the floating point if you observe the float uh, has Uh, we have stored uh, in float 1.23 and it's showing uh, it is uh, following uh, uh, some zeros here and uh, also if you observe in the double we have stored how many digits here five up to the decimal point but it's showing as six by adding the zero that means that the default uh, precision that means the number of digits which were allowed up to the decimal point is 6 for both uh, float and uh, double okay so it, you can control the precision by adding the number of decimals you want uh, after the decimal point by keeping the dot and the number of decimals you need to fix it you can keep here 2 after the floating point in, uh, and you can run the program and see now we have uh, got the exact uh, 
uh, output that what we have stored in the what you have stored in the floating point variable. In the same way, we can do it for uh, double also. Since we have uh, five digits here, we can control the pressure by keeping dot and five, and just run the program. So now you get the exact uh, output of what we have uh, stored in the double variable. Okay. So this is all about uh, the basic data types in C. Intro to basic data types in C. So in the next video, uh, we will discuss in detail about uh, integer, float, care, and double individually. Okay. See you in the next lesson.